Hi there, I need to stop you here because I'm about to show some other blanks I try to make and I feel like it's better if I explain what's going on instead of just showing the results. So, here you saw two of the same blank but the one on the top was left to, to cure under pressure and the other has been degassed with vacuum. As you can see the top one has no voids at all while the one on the bottom has many in all sides and I know from previous experiments that there are more also inside. Reading the comments from last week's video about the pressure pot, I know that many of you thought that vacuum was far superior to pressure to deal with bubbles, and so did I. But as you can see, pressure, at least for me, gave much better results than vacuum. What I think is happening here is that the polyester resin I'm using starts to thicken up too quickly. So by the time I can reach a full vacuum, it's already too dense and some air can get through it. It's very possible that with other resin like epoxy, this problem can be avoided completely. But I really want to make it work with polyester because it's much, much cheaper and it also cures in a couple of hours while epoxy can take a day or even more. Now back to the video, here you can see some other blanks I made with Borla and with this material I have not been able to remove all voids and bubbles with any method. I also tried to degas with vacuum first and then apply pressure but I still ended up with some voids every time. The problem here might be that I can't apply enough pressure or that I wasn't using enough resin. So yeah, making my carta with this kind of wide mesh cloth is much harder and I still haven't figured out how to make it work. This last piece is a combination of jeans and blue cardstock and it came out fine with just pressure. So, all in all I had way more fail than usable blanks, but I guess it's just part of the learning process and really I only used one and a half liters of polyester resin that cost around 20 euro. So I think that once you can make this repeatably, it would be much cheaper than buying off-the-shelf micarta or other composite materials. Please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. As always, thank you a lot for watching and see you next week. Bye bye.